Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all doing well. It is 11.01 p.m. January 23rd, 2024. I hope we're all having a fantastic day today. We're going to get some World of Warcraft straight off the stream. We might play Star Citizen during it. We'll see. Uh, that'll be towards the tail end. Um... Yeah, we're going to be playing some while. We need to uh, gear up our paladin a little bit more because there has been a request out on the Discord looking for a paladin to fill a rank for a, uh, a temp raid tomorrow. So I decided since I had a paladin and I'm free at 5 p.m. tomorrow that we would try our best to attend. Well, it's not tomorrow. It's the next day. But we have a few days to actually get some prep in. So we're going to get our paladin pre-raid best out. And uh, we're also going to do the Duskwood quests. Now, uh, during this video, we might be playing other games. So if you're watching Stream Recap, don't be alarmed that you're hearing this at the start of the video. And it's like, I, I, don't want, I didn't sign up for World of Warcraft. It's fine. I'll be playing the other games if I am playing other games. Anyway, uh, if you are watching the Stream Recap, do hit that sub button. We are around eight, at the time of recording, eight subs away from 500. And I am very excited to get there and see what we specifically get, as it's a milestone of mine. Now, we are trying to get 1,000, so don't just stop at 500. We are trying to get 1,000 before the end of the next six months. But, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and hop in to the video game. Class A leveling is fun because the levels and items actually mean something. Heirlooms were, were the beginning of the end. Yeah, but even without heirlooms, leveling WAD at the start sucks. Right? It, it, like, it's definitely better now comparing to the competition, but TBC leveling sucks because Outland's boring as hell. Um, Wrath is cool, but still, there's not enough carrots. Right? The biggest pro about leveling for me is the talent system, which they have now, and also learning our spells and not knowing what's coming. That's why I never, I try never to look ahead on my spells. I've leveled all these characters to 60 many times. Like, I don't know what spells are coming up, but that's my favorite part. That's my favorite part. Something about listening to a World of Warcraft soundtrack while you're in a loading screen is so good because it just hits. Because you just hear it, repeat, repeat. And if you were if you were old enough, uh, which you are a pot, um, that you had the discs, which I also had for Wrath, right? Like, that was just like when you're waiting for that shit to download on your shitty ass internet and you're just hearing this music and it's like, let me the fuck in, oh my god! Get me in there! God, there's no better feeling, man. A part of me wants to just buy the boxes again just so I can have them. Or like, maybe even get some fucking wall things, like, so I can actually see it. Dude, this song goes on, bro, holy shit. Epic music's just teasing you, yeah. Blizzard's definitely a fucking powerhouse, dude. Like, th there's no fucking around with Blizzard. Once Blizzard stepped on the MMO scene, they just did everything better. Not to say anything bad about EverQuest, because obviously EverQuest came first, but I didn't play it, right? Like, I don't know. They shot on EverQuest? Wow, it's better. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't played it. All I know is that World of Warcraft is a perfect combination, especially when it came out, vanilla, was a perfect combination between the hardcore stuff and the chill stuff and the simple stuff. And then they added in cinematics, music, story, badass shit, dark shit. Like, man. And the thing is, the thing is, and this is giving me goosebumps just thinking about it. Metzen's back. He's back in Blizzard. We have the World Soul Saga coming up, right? World Soul so Saga's coming up. They just released SOD, which is the best shit they've released since fucking Legion. How? Well, not including Classic Era, not including Classic Era, but I feel like like there is a, a shadow of Blizzard that has returned, you know? Maybe it's not Blizzard at their, their prime, but it's definitely a better version than what we've been getting. Bumps and scrapes included. Because, like, SOD has been a powerhouse, truly. SOD is a amazing. It's creative. It's amazing. It's classic plus. It's what people were after. It's it, it's just good. It's just good. It's fun. 
Look how many people are playing. Like the numbers we're, we're estimating with Warcraft logs alone is 300,000 players. And I feel like a shadow of Blizzard's former self has returned. You know, we got Metzen back doing the story in retail. We have people who care about classic doing classic. Now it's to be seen if they try to add any store shit in the game, they fucking might. They fucking might, and the community should be rightly up in arms about that. But classic is amazing. Um, but yeah, Blizzard, if it, it feels like Blizzard is on her way back. Now, are they gonna get fucking 12 million players again? No, they're not. But are they gonna get a thriving community that really respects Blizzard again? Maybe. It depends on how this next expansion is. Because you gotta remember, Blizzard is no longer under Activision. They are under Microsoft. So Activision's its own thing and Microsoft and, and Blizzard's its own thing, right? So, and they have Metzen back, who is the heart and soul of the game. So if there is any expansion, any that could or would be worth um, getting back into, it's gotta be this next expansion. And the thing is, is like a large part of me wants to not buy it, just wait, save your money, not pay into this shit. Uh, also a part of me is like, dude, this is medicine we're talking about. If there's any time that WoW is going to be in its prime, once again, it's gonna be this next X pack. And I think SOD is perfect. But here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking is gonna happen. After this World Soul Saga, I think Azeroth is going to ex explode and there's gonna be a reset. I think that's what they're gonna do. I would love for them to do that. At least that's what I'm hoping. Uh, because they're having the next three X packs of development time to work on the next thing. Because the thing is, it's like, I don't want to spend all my time like grinding all these things and doing all this shit um, for like a, a unearnable or unachievable goal. Like there's thousands of mounts, thousands of transmog pieces, thousands of things. They're all different types and old and whatever. Like, I don't want to fuck around with that. Right? And I, I think there's a lot of people in the same boat as me. I'd rather have a reset. Right now, is that are they going to go the route of new engine? I don't know. Like they have three expansions. The next three expansions are planned. We know the names of them. So what I'm thinking about is what is that fourth expansion? What is that fourth one? What is that? Because that could be big. That could be the one that pulls, presses that button, presses that reset button. It's like, all right, boys. Listen, it's time. Like, we've been doing this for a long time. I think it's time for that fucking reset button. You know? Fresh start. Maybe Classic Plus is that fresh start? I don't think it is. I think this is going to be a retail thing. Like, I, I, I personally pot, I am not a fan of them, like, adding, like, just removing things from the game. Like, I think I like everything being obtainable. And, like, removing things never feels good. Unless you're removing everything from everybody. Yeah, I, obviously people are, are going to be mad about it, but it's literally for the greater good in every sense. This game is fucking coming up on 20 years old. <laughs> Actually, wait, no, this game is 24 years old if you count development time in Classic. It started in 1999, so really it's even older than that shit. It is something to be thought about. That like, you know, maybe it's time for a new engine. Right? Maybe it's time to press the reset button after this because to my understanding this is going to be the end of the story the end it's years away if they do yeah of course of course like this is a this is a this is a thing that could happen and it's probably going to be a you know a 2028 thing because Metzen was saying it's like we want to get this thing wrapped up right like it's not going to be the same cadence like maybe it's yearly expansions again like maybe uh by 20 maybe by 2027 or 2028 which is what my uh, expectation is like maybe that's when it's done right but i do think they're they're leading to the end of world of warcraft as a story now does that mean that they're never going to use world of warcraft again no, I think they're going to do the same thing. It's just going to be maybe a different planet. Right? New people. And I'm not opposed to that as long as it's in the same... As long as it's in it's in the fantasy of Warcraft. I just hope if they do it, they don't have like a... 
new like a like a old school RuneScape situation where everybody just wants to play the old game. Just that would be really sad. Like I want this to work, right? Like in my mind, the way I've been trading World of Warcraft is that I haven't been playing it because that's like a, a form of tough love, right? Where like you want something, you're not getting it, so you're not playing it until you get it. Right? And mine, my thing, is game's too big, and I want player housing. I want it so bad. I don't know why it's not in the fucking game. It pisses me off. Give me it. But um But yes, I want player housing, right? But like that was my thing. But what they're doing now is it sounds like they are refocusing their efforts, having an actual storyteller, which is Metzen, tell a fucking story. The story that we all got into Worldcraft in the first place, for most of us anyway. And actually like caring, you know? And having characters we love. So like that's a thing that I've been thinking about a lot. And I hope they do. I really hope they do. And not just like, oh, we're done with World of Warcraft. Like, obviously, they're not going to do that. This, play, this thing's a fucking cash cow. But, like, they're saying the next 20 years. Do you, like, do, does anybody honestly think that the next 20 years is going to be on the same map? And they're just going to add more islands? I don't think that's true. I don't think that's possible. If they're, if the, if you're thinking 20 years in advance, 20 to zero, right? That's, like... That's so long that you would have to be thinking about new engine, new stuff, right? You'd have to be. It just makes sense. Of course it does. A new engine would be, would be wow too, in my opinion. There are rumors of a new War, uh, Warcraft movie uh, to supposedly be a reboot. I mean, they could definitely do a reboot too. A reboot would be would be the way that that would be like like something that is that is palatable to all Warcraft players. A reboot would make sense. Just going a different direction. Instead of going to Outland or whatever, like you go somewhere else, right? I'd actually I'd be very happy about that. I'd be very very happy about that if they did a reboot. Cuz that's like making a whole new game. Why not? Yeah, exactly. Like, we could start... We could start rebooting, like... Like, what if we start in fucking Lordaeron? Right? Take the knowledge that we've learned over the last fucking 20 years... 24 years of development... And time... Take some of the things that you've learned... And try not to do them again, right? We're talking stuff like... For example... The leveling scaling problem... Right? How do you tackle that over a long period of time without making the game feel bad? Yeah, you literally brought up the same point I just brought up. Right? Like, that's a problem. Like, you, you eventually, like, a, like, over 20 years, you'll get to level 200. Right? So what if it's, you know, like, what if there's a different, different route? What if questing turns into, like, unlocking things? What if it's, like, added into the quest? So, like, let's say... Let's, let's put it at, like, just a top-of-the-mind example, right? Let's say Classic is a, cla a thing, okay? So Classic is a just a, a regular expansion. It goes through Molten Core, through through uh, Next Ramus, and does all that, right? And then they release TBC, okay? New Continent, whatever. But instead of increasing the level cap to level 70, they just add... Like a kind of like a prerequisite thing. So it's just a story, right? So it's just a story that you do. You'll get like some kind of rewards or whatever. Um, but it's like a mandatory thing, right? So you still have that leveling thing, but it's not increasing the level and all that. But you do the story, right? And it's just, let's say, let's just say it's a singular zone story. What do you, what does, what happens when the next expansion comes out, Right? Does a player need to level up to 1 to 60, do this story, this story, this story? No. You just add that to, like, you know, it's like, okay, this now gives XP to 60. Right? This now gives XP to 60. So now we can mix it into where, like, you know, level 30, you can split off, and, like, it's actually built into the leveling thing. 
and and slash or you already get it right because like there's just going to be so much content there's going to be so much content so you gotta you gotta tackle that problem of of making sure that you do not make your players do what they're doing now or what they were doing before this leveling update came out for retail which is oh yeah you have to do fucking 20 years of content if you want to actually see any of the story it's like no you can you can condense lies you can add it to your leveling thing or what so you don't uh, affect the actual leveling like the good leveling right so i feel like if retail did something like that to where you know they they'd made everything like a story set or whatever i think they could really do something cool but also, like, I feel, I feel like the leveling needs to stand on its own two feet and needs to be a part of that as well. Like, I think, I think the leveling should, the leveling one to sixty, like, let's just take classics leveling one to sixty, like that needs to still be present because that's good, right? You still want leveling one to sixty present because it's amazing, but you need to tackle the problem with what happens with the other expansions. You cannot make it to where it's like, oh yeah, you get one to sixty, then you need to do tbc quests then you need to do cata quests then you need to do mob quests and you need to do world warlords of drenner quests like it can't be like that so it either either needs to be baked into your questing thing or ignored like i that that's a very very specific problem to deal with but it needs to have a solution because if there's no solution then you're fucked like you definitely want a solution to that so what is it like a raid like is there like a level up raid thing where you do a raid and do this or what? Like, there should should there be a reason why you want to do this stuff? Because eventually, it, like, we're talking over the scale of 20 years. How much content can you make in 20 years? A fucking lot. So there needs to be a method of condensalizing it without wanting, without just knee jerk removing it. Should be new gear, transmogs, mounts, maybe a new bis. I mean, yeah, that's definitely a method, for sure, right? But my problem with that is that I'm concerned that there will just eventually just get too much content. It's going to be over such a long period that you're just going to have so much shit that you're never going to you're never going to have enough time to clear it all and it's going to be really hard for new players to get in. Right? And a part of me doesn't want to go it's like okay, well let's just like change the leveling to 60 to where 1 to 60 now is just through this expansion, then you condensalize your leveling. Right? Like, I feel like that should be the the all equaling factors. Like, hey, everybody goes through this this thing. This is the story. One to sixty, the story. Right? I know there's just some I know Blizzard is smart enough to figure a solution for this problem if they have it. I know they're smart enough to do that. Like Blizzard, the people at Blizzard are very intelligent. They go for what makes the most money? Probably. But you gotta remember that maybe maybe just maybe that could change with being under active uh, under microsoft right like maybe microsoft is not going to try to fucking nickel and dime every corner of everything we don't know i think i think microsoft is extremely consumer friendly so like we don't know how this is going to work out not a fuck clue dude so like i don't know like this blizzard feels different this version of Blizzard feels different. There's no store in SOD yet. Mind you, I don't think any company would be stupid enough to affect something as as cherished as classic World of Warcraft. Like, yeah, they touched Wrath, but Wrath is different. So yeah, I'd love to see what they would do with that. I'd fucking love it, man. Because, man, they can go anywhere, right? Like, they really could. But what I would like is just to have a experience that doesn't change, right? And you might say that's boring, but like, I think there's, there's, there's a really cool thing with that, right? I think classic is so loved is because of the, the experience doesn't change. You change, but the experience doesn't. Now, maybe there could be like a thing where it's like, okay, well, we won't change the, like the way the questing cadence is and all this. But maybe we'll graphically change it and update voice acting and stuff. Right? Because you don't want it like a Final Fantasy XIV thing where you get in it and, you know, you're going through the quest and it's the worst quest you've ever seen. And, um, and like from a graphical and also voice acted thing. Right? Because, like, imagine 
like for if you will if you were going to update classic quests without actually updating them how do you do it i'd add voice acting to all of the quests i'd add cinematics i'd add um animations with character movement that's how i would do it which would be I, I wouldn't be mad about that being being someone who really, really loves the, the breath and feel of classic, right? That's how I would update. Graphics, voice acting, cinematics. That's how you do it. That's how you make it feel modern. That's how you make it feel within the story, right? Some more illustrations of the story. I know that even though I don't play Final Fantasy, I know of it, uh, that I know they do a lot of cinematic stuff, right? But, like, that's kind of my thought process with it. I really hope they do something, though. Like, I, it can't just be the status quo of, after these three expansions, oh, we have another story, guys. Like, I want, I need a reset. I need something that is wiping the slate or something different or a new engine or a new system to where we can condensalize all this stuff. I don't think just removing it is good enough. I think, I think it, it needs to be removed from everybody. It's literally, literally a slight wipe. Just a complete slate wipe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, I want to stream longer, and I will be stream uh, streaming uh, later today, because technically today is gonna there's gonna be another stream today. Uh, but I'm gonna take a quick five hour uh, snooze. Well, maybe four hour. It's just, it's, it's just, I just need like a, like a good nap. Um, but I'll be back. Um, but for the stream recap, because this will be a video, uh, I hope everyone enjoyed today's stream and, uh, do not forget to sub. It's important. We're almost, we're really close to 500 and I hope you enjoyed today's content because I really did enjoy talking about all the things we talked about today and hopefully, uh, you know. If you got any concerns about anything I talked about or, you know, any points about it, leave it in the comments. Uh, I'll be back in uh, a little bit uh, for the live viewers or the people who watch the VODs. Uh, doesn't really apply to you, does it? Anyway, till next time. See ya.